Meow. So I'm just doing a really quick little energy sketch of this grooming kitty couple. And we'll start with the one head and move on to the next. Just like to keep moving really, really quickly in a sketch like this. Because then I don't worry too much about little details. I would just get the general bigger picture. And this is sped up to double speed. Just try to get those lines down in a really nice fluid motion. And I ended up not liking how the ears were, so I did a bit of correcting here. I'm voicing over now. Just correcting those ear shapes. I'm going to get rid of some of that. We'll start from scratch. Well, not really from scratch, but... A little bit of fix-it work there. Always some fix-it work. And right here too, I'm putting this head down a little lower. Just want those smoothly flowing lines to have, so I have lots of energy in this drawing. I do erase minimally. Usually I leave my extra background lines because they just add tone, but if one's interfering with my drawing, then then that's when I will remove it. I like to get the, the nice oval of the muzzle in there. It really helps me to make sure it looks comfortable. Do check out our Cat Drawing Art Workshop Facebook group. You'll find the link for that Facebook group in the video description below, plus some other handy cat drawing links too. So check it out. We'd love to have you. When I'm drawing this tongue, I'm making sure the length of a tongue is kind of showing that it's shaped going around the other cat's cheek. Feeling out where the eyes go, that's where I slow down and tighten up a little bit. And I want that eye near the other cats, near the tongue, I want that kind of pushed upward because just to make it look like when the cat's licking it, it's licking, you know, moving the side of its face, of the other cat's face. So I just wanted to capture that. Just a suggestion of some shoulders in here. And some interesting angles, the way the chin is kind of scrunched up there. Those lines by the eyes really help shape the face too. The tongue is a real focal point, so I want it to stand out. And you can take a drawing like this in any direction you want. I mean, it's just a, a quick energy sketch for learning. Um, and it's just in sketchbook paper, but you know, you can use it for the basis of a more finished drawing. Use it for painting. Drawing really is the foundation of visual arts along with sculpting. And I love sculpting too. Yeah, I was a little bit too much in the way of lines there, so I got rid of some. Too distracting. I'm trying to simplify here. And I'm just drawing those ovals in for the cheeks, even though I've already kind of defined them, because it just helps me see if, you know, sometimes I forget to do that first, and it helps me see if things are, are looking good.
darken up some of those lines. And the tabby stripes always help shape the forehead. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Hit that little notification bell. It's subscriptions that, that help make this channel purr. We'd love to have you help us build our great community of crazy cat artists. I'm starting to darken things up a bit here now. Tweak some spots that I wasn't super happy with, like the nose. Yeah, kind of shaping those lines around the face. And some tabby stripes. They really help with the contour. Can't forget cat number one. Lovely orange tabby. I'm going to speed it up again here in a, a little bit um, to four times the speed just to polish things up at the end and get through it a little quicker for you. So here we go faster. I'm defining things a little here. Whiskers. Don't want to overdo it with whiskers because it can really weigh down the face and distract from what you're really trying to say in the drawing. So I'm careful with it. So thank you so much for watching. Make sure you check out our Facebook group. That link in the video description below. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell. And we'll be happy to have you and we will see you next time.